Hi, Paul here from Applejack Electronics. Uh, today we're powering up um, an EBL100 and a DT100. Uh, we've got the main power in the back for the consumers and then we've got the battery sense wires in the front. That's the only things we've got connected. We can see at the moment that the outputs for the main appliances are off and the frost protection valve and the step are also off and the switch is in the off position. We switch the switch to on. At this point nothing happens, the step is still off and the consumers are still off until we power on the control panel. The initial turn on of the control panel turns on both the frost protection valve and the main consumers, both you can see are on. If we now turn the control panel off, we lose the consumers, but we maintain the, the step and the frost protection valve. The only way to turn the frost protection valve off is to switch the main switch on the EBL off. You see that now it goes off. So this is in the shutdown mode when you would uh, lay out for the winter. So if we turn it back on again, we have to turn on the control panel to get it back on again. And again, step output and frost protection valve on, main consumers on. The panel now measures both the battery voltages, as you can see. And again, if we want to turn the consumers off, we push the on off on the control panel. Uh, you can, if the uh, consumers are on and the step is on, if you now switch this panel off at the EBL, then all of them go off, the consumers are off, and the step and frost protection valve is off.